Hello students, this is Mrs. Jones and this is the video for questions 10 through 13 of the Algebra 1 Keystone practice test. Um, so our first question here, number 10, says the Hamburger Hut is giving away toys. They have a thousand toys on hand and will give eight toys away per day. The number of toys is T is a function of the number of days which have passed since the beginning of giving away toys, okay? It says, what is the domain, reasonable domain for this situation? So the domain has to deal with this, what we plug into the formula, not that it has a letter D. If this was a letter X, this would be whatever we input into this. So what this is saying is that our number of days would be less than or equal to a thousand. This one is saying that our number of days could be anywhere from zero to 125. This choice is saying that our number of days could be greater than zero. And this one is saying that our number of greater than or equal to zero. And this one also says that our number of days could be greater than zero. These two, I'm going to eliminate those as possible choices because what that is saying is that I can give toys away for a billion days because they go, they say all that has to happen is that D is greater than zero. I can't give away toys for a billion days because I wouldn't have enough toys. This one here. It says I can give toys away up to a thousand days. If I give a thousand, if I give away toys for a thousand days, that means I'm taking 1,000 times eight because we're giving away eight toys a day. It's saying I'm going to give away 8,000 toys. Do I have 8,000 toys to give away? No. I can't do that either. Our best choice for the domain here is 0 to 125 because after 125 days, if I give 8 toys away per day, I'm going to be at my 1,000 days or 1,000 toys. Alright, so our answer here is C. Next question, we're going to kind of work this one backwards. This says, what is the expression of the nth term of the sequence? There's an algebraic way to do this, but then again, like I said before, that this is crunch time. So I want to show you a little workaround for this. That if you take this term number, 1, and put it into your choice here, 3 plus 5 times 1, that's only going to be 8. Is that your first number? No. If you put the 1 in here, this is going to be 2 plus 3. That is my first number. Okay? That is the first one. So what you would need to do is check the second one. If we went 3 times 2, so 2 plus 3 times 2, ooh, that's 8, right? We'd want to check a couple, like down the road here. So if I put in 3, I should get the third term in the list. I should get 11. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. This one looks like it's working out. If I put 4 in there, I'm going to get 14. B is our answer. All right. So our next question, number 12, says the length of a rectangle. please draw a picture, is three centimeters more than three times the width. Three centimeters more than three times the width. And we don't know what the width is. It says if the perimeter is 46, well you gotta know what the word perimeter means. The perimeter means the distance around. So all of these added together should be equal to 46. So I'm going to shortcut this a little bit and kind of collect all my stuff now. 
W plus 3W plus W plus 3W is going to give me 8Ws. You guys get that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And then if I collect just the numbers, I got 6. And that's going to be equal to 46. Now, we got to solve this. So we subtract the 6 off of both sides. That's 8W because that goes away. And this would be 40. So we divide both sides by 8. That means that our width is going to be equal to 5. So right away, we can eliminate this one, and we can eliminate this one, because that's not our width, right? It says the width is 5. What you do with this 5, then, is plug it back into your length piece. 3 plus 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 3 would be 18, right? Our answer is C. Okay. Our last question in this video has to deal with the op optimal operating temperature of um, a car. And it says that it's within 10 degrees of 190. So it can be 10 degrees less than 190, which would be 180, and it can be um, up to 200, which would be 10 degrees more, right? So it can be anywhere in between those two values. So right away, this OR no, we can get rid of these ors because we have to be in between. We can't be an or. In between, if you graph it, looks like this. An or, when you graph it, looks like that. And we don't want to be bigger than 200. We want to be in between 180 and 200. So here's where we get into the other part of that, this part, okay, is that it says within 10 degrees. So we can be 9 degrees difference, we can be 8 degrees difference, we can be 7 degrees difference, we can be 6 degree difference, we can be 5, 4, 3, 2, or 1 degree difference. We can be anywhere... 10 or less, right? So right here, if you look at this, we say, oh, well, if we subtract the actual temperature, minus 190, we can be anything less than or equal to 10 degrees. Our choice is A. This one is saying that we can be greater than 10 degrees off. We want to be less than 10 degrees off, right? Thank you for, for watching this video. Our next video is going to be on questions 14 through 16. So you can come back and watch those videos if you need to. Great, thank you.